Hello there. Uh, my name is Kara Schuster, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about reading skills class and the type of instruction that we provide for your student in that class. Um, before I move on, just want to let you know we do have a website that is embedded in the previous uh, web page that you could go to if you want to look at that information a little bit more closely or the information I'm going to cover just a little bit more closely. A little bit about myself. I have been a reading specialist in the district for 16 years. I've been employed in the district for 29 years. I started out as a drama instructor and went back and got my master's in reading. I also have an endorsement to instruct English language learners, and I provide support for those students in the school. Um, so your student, how did they get into my class? Well, uh, it was based off of their MAP scores, how they were doing with their MAP scores. If they were 30% or lower out of the last three, um, out of the five, uh, out of five tests, out of the last three, if they were 30% or below, then we kind of take a closer look at them. And we look at, um, you know, how they're doing in their other classes, we also would do some diagnostic testing with a program that's called Ames Web, which can break down the reading skills a little bit more closely and we can see where there might be a deficit. And if we find that they're below 30th percentile in um, different areas, like for instance, vocabulary or comprehension, then you know that would also justify putting those two pieces of data together that they would be in the class. So there's different areas of need for your, the students that are in my class. Um, but I do try to combine all of these skills here um, together on a daily basis so that we're covering all of the different needs. They all go together anyway. We're, you know, the main thing that reading does for people is that they have some understanding of something um, that they've read. So comprehension. So everything kind of leads back up to comprehension. You have to be able to break down the words and you have to know the meaning of them. And uh, that leads back to understanding what you've read. So that's the primary goal is to understand what they're reading. Um, so we do decoding that's breaking down words. And then we um, practice that daily. We do fluency. And we also use context clues to identify the meaning of words maybe that we don't know. Reading skills is a small group instruction, which is which provides your student with more one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor, which has been proven to be the most effective way to increase growth in any area of need. They, they um, get you know, individual attention and I can kind of keep a little bit better track of how they're doing. We use for decoding, we use these interventions here. This is Rewards, which is a program that reviews different word sounds. Orton Gillingham does that as well. And we also use Six Minute Solution for Fluency which the student practices a passage. Um, probably I give them a new passage and then they practice it a few times and then hopefully they'll see that their rate has improved. We are also focusing though on that they are being um, not making errors in what they're saying. Um, then we work on comprehension. LLI, um, Level Literacy Intervention, is a well-researched program that we use in the district and that I will be using. Um, we take a look at, uh, they provide books that are at a student's reading level, not necessarily at a grade level. The ultimate goal is that we would get them up to reading at grade level. When they're reading at their reading level, then they're going to eventually be moving up. We want to have them be successful at their reading level and to practice skills at that level so that they can continue to move up and try those skills at the higher level. Um, Jan Richardson strategies um, 
that's what the students learn when they are using these. Uh, they also use these when we're, they're reading these uh, books from LLI to kind of get themselves going. A lot of times as readers, proficient readers, they have strategies that they don't even recognize they're using. So this is like very explicit direct instruction on strategies to be able to kind of get what they need to out of a text. Let's see. So our class routine, basically the students come in and we will do some bell work in the area of decoding so we'll talk about different types of syllables. We'll review word sounds. And we will break down words using prefixes and suffixes. Then we'll practice our fluency with a six-minute solution. So they will get with a partner. And they'll practice reading a passage um, a couple of times. Then we start working on um, comprehension, learning some strategies, and reading the text together. We'll also work on uh, vocabulary, using context clues to identify the meaning in words. So that's basically what reading skills is about. Um, we do progress monitor regularly. Once a week, your student will read a one minute passage to me. And um, so for the duration of the semester, we'll have that data. So we should have you know close to 16, 18 points that we can see that they are progressing. Of course, you know, after 68 weeks, I'm going to take a look at it to see if they are progressing. If it's not working, then what do I need to do to improve the instruction so they can be um, improving in that area? <clears throat> we also do a comprehension check, and that's where they read a long passage, and we uh, and then they answer some questions. Um, again. Hopefully they're gonna be picking up strategies, gonna be able to read the passage, and they'll be able to um, proficiently answer those questions. Throughout the class, I like to say that we are practicing all of these skills. This is a pass-fail course. So we are practicing these skills, and they have specific goals that we uh, work together to create, and they, can, and they keep track of when they are proficient at practicing these skills. So they might be practicing decoding, um, and I will do a check to see if they are actually improving, you know, if they're proficient or they're not. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not trying. It just means that we need to continue to work on it. I might need to change some instructions so that we can continue to see growth in those areas. So um, we keep good track of them and, and what they're doing. I also communicate with all the other um, specialists in the, in the school so that if we have a similar student, how we can collaborate. Um, also communicating with classroom teacher to let them know that there might be some um, reading issues and how we can um, help out in the classroom so that the experience in the classroom is um, going to be a good one, even though that there might be some reading difficulties so they can still get at the content. Um, let me know, that's about it. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to contact me. If you, again, if you go back to the previous slide, um, my email address is on there and my phone number. And please know I'm very available to you and that I am here to answer any questions. Um, primarily after the end of about six weeks, when I've had some opportunity to get to know your student and to do some work with them, I would be able to um, provide you with an update on how they're doing in class. All right, I look forward to working with you and your student, and um, hopefully we can create some readers that are a little passionate, uh, if not all the way passionate, about reading in the real world.